What's up, everybody? Dog meat here. It's been a while, but I've, uh, you know, I've been doing stuff. You don't need to know exactly what kind of stuff I've been up to, but I did meet a fella, a, uh, a cultier and rogue by the name of Solomon. He and I have been doing some side jobs together, you know, making money. We're businessmen. That's what you need to know. Anyways, um, took a little break from the adventuring life and was, uh, you know, making some cash, making some cash money doing that, and, uh, you know, we've uh, struck up a good relationship. We're going to meet up again soon. Uh, he's uh, told me to come meet him here in, in Stranglethorn Vale, but uh, I'm going to start, you know, getting back into the adventuring life a little bit as well, and we're probably going to meet up and do some adventures together, so uh, for now, we're going to... We're going to continue along with the uh, whatever these idiots have for us to do. Well met. Hello, warrior. We are soldiers of Stormwind and rebels from Curzon's Compound, a large outpost that you'll find just to the southeast of here. We were under the command of Colonel Curzon until he and those close to him started to descend into madness. We rebelled, set up camp here, and stood against Curzon. Now my sources are telling me that Curzon has disappeared. I trust my source, but it would help to hear from a third party. Please, head into the compound and find some documentation of his fate. For the Alliance. As long as you're paying me. Hello. I have a feeling that Curzon's medicine men are distributing more than just medicine. Curzon needs some way to quelch insubordination. An elixir under the guise of medicine would be the perfect way to do that. We need those remedies for research. Search the Curzon compound to the southeast. His medicine men and jungle fighters should carry the remedies on their bodies. See you later. Alright, well. Let's go make some money. Records here. I'll take those. something for 
kill more people. Guys, I mean, they don't seem like much. Cutting them down pretty goddamn. Could use a few more to kill. That's the problem. Is there's not enough of them. soldier's possessions, I looked down to see a newborn raptor hatchling looking back up at you. I mean, was it following this cursing militia man the whole time? You can see it studying you, learning your features and following my movements. The latch tail hatchling has formed a bond with me. Perhaps someone back at Rebel Camp will know what to do with a raptor hatchling. Good day to you. Well done, dog meat. Now let's see what they've got in this elixir of theirs. Brother Nimitz analyzes the samples I've given him. This is... this is just basilisk blood. No, it's mostly basilisk blood. They've added something to it, though. I'll need a control sample to perform a proper comparison. They most likely obtained the blood from the crystal spine basilisks, found to the east of their compound. Bring it back some pure samples and I'll have this elixir figured out. See you around. King's honor, friend. What were you able to find, Dogmeat? They killed him? And all this time I thought he had them underneath an iron boot heel. 
Curzon's death is a relief, but what's more interesting, and perhaps more immediate, is the sign of some potential allies within the compound. I don't care what it says on that prison record. I know exactly why these three were locked up. Refusal to follow orders. They must have been spared from the madness, much like my fellow rebels here, and incarcerated for speaking up. Find them, dogmeat. Find them and send them back here. Light bless you. You need something? Yes, the little one seems to have taken a liking to you. You're lucky. This age, the raptors are calm, peaceful, and easily trained. Keep her, dogmeat. She may come in handy. In fact, it looks like your young raptor is hungry. If you're looking to keep her, why don't you finish, find something for her to eat? Uh, the lash tail often attack the basilisks of the Stranglethorn, which can be found to the east, beyond Curzon's compound. She probably isn't strong enough to hunt on her own yet, but I'm sure she will eat freshly killed basilisk meat. See you later. Let me put these new shoulders on. Very good. See what else there is to find out here in the jungle. Must be more paying work. The finest leather crafters of the South Seas and the world's old and new. That's what they call me. Me! Drizzlick! The finest leather. Uh, well, my leather goods are known far and wide as the most exquisite. A connoisseur's choice. I just received an order from Director Riddlebox of the Tinkerer's Union for a dozen of his favorite Excelsior line boots. Our best sellers, actually. <clears throat> to start on the basic shape, I'll need crosslet. Crocolis skins from the crocs along the river in the northern Stranglethorn. Be good. What's on your mind? Welcome to Stranglethorn. Perhaps you're not aware of this, but that dwarf over there is the son of the one and only Hemet Nesingwary, renowned war hero of the Alliance, and master big game hunter. Like his father, he's not one for welcoming strangers into his camp, but you look like you've seen quite a bit of action in your day, warrior. Go and speak with him. He's a chip off the old block, so perhaps he can give you some hunting pun pointers. Off with you. How are ya? Jolly nice to make your acquaintance, Dogmeat. We haven't seen a warrior around here these parts for some time. I have one purpose in being here, to hunt a great and elusive beast. Seeing that you're a hero of sorts, I am willing to let you take part in the hunt. But you must first prove yourself. I shall teach you the ways of raptor killing. To you. Alec will train you with tiger hunting, and Sir Eridagan is a master of panther tracking. Prove your skill and I'll let you in on the big hunt. So, you think your hunting skills are in tip-top shape? I can put them to the test in a jiffy. Head out to that jungle and kill ten stranglethorn raptors. We'll see just how much of a big game hunter you are. And no, I won't tell you where you can find them. Locating the beasts is half the challenge. Okay, go west. Watch your back. Hey there. When I was but a young girl, my father trained me in the art of tiger hunting. You'll find the young felines much easier to track and slay. One can often find young tigers near the expedition camp. Test your tracking skills and see if you can hunt some of the beasts down. Start your hunt near our camp, to the south. See you around. Need help. If you want to be part of the hunt with this crack group under Hemet Jr.'s leadership, you're going to need to prove yourself an able panther hunter. You should start out easy, just focus on the young panthers for now. As you improve and gain experience as a hunter, 
you will undoubtedly find increasingly dangerous quarry. Start by heading east. Return to me when you are a master panther hunter. Be careful. Great to meet you. One page. I only need one more page. Master Nezingwary's novel ran into a bit of an... an accident. Barnell shoots an accusing glance over its spanks. And we misplaced some of the pages. I've been asking your fellow adventurers to look for the missing pages, and they've been quite helpful. But one page still eludes me. I'm sure you're awfully busy with other matters. But while you're out in the jungle, would you mind looking for it? Safe travels. some tigers. Cats are sort of my natural enemy after all. caliber. I have finished with the young tigers, but the thrill of the hunt still holds me captive. Young tigers are one thing, fully grown cats are another. Hunting the grown stranglethorn tigers will prove an even greater challenge. The adult cats normally spend their days south of Curzon's compound, east of the river. But for now, perhaps some crocolisks will be a good challenge. that up quick. Time is money, friend. My equipment is all ready to go, dog meat. I just need those skins. 
We don't want to keep Riddlevox waiting, that's for sure. It's not a good idea for anyone to keep the chief inventor of the Tinkerer's Union unsatisfied. These skins should do. Their quality isn't too important, given that they'll make up the inside layer of the boots, but it's still important that they're comfortable. If they're a bit too rigid, I'll use some tiger blood to soften it up. Tricks of the trade, you know? Well, I've got the basic shape of the boots worked out, and they're coming along fine, but the skins you brought aren't going to be quite enough for the inner layers. What are we going to do, Drizzlick? No doubt the question on your lips. And well, isn't it lucky that you're talking to Drizzlick? Because he's going to tell you what we're going to do. The inner layers will never really be seen, so we'll just get some of the thicker, cheaper skins from the crocs around Lake Nef Nazfertiti to fill the boots out. Have a good one! Let's look for panthers now. Not tigers, panthers. Leave me alone, tiger. for a bit of a doggy paddle. Panthers, where are you hiding? Frustrating.
Definitely not my friend Solomon. He's definitely too skinny. Solomon is what one might call a hecking chunker. What a good friend. Still, got a glimpse of him all the way over there. feel more experienced already. Perhaps it's time to move on to bigger prey. The youngest panthers fell easily before me. Panthers that have come of age will naturally be stronger and quicker, more difficult to defeat. Larger panther tracks lead to the west. See if we can find some more tigers. Young Panther wants to fuck with me. Maybe. Very well. They honestly don't seem like much of more of a challenge than the fools I was facing previously.
need to get close. Nice having a little overlap area where your Our targets inhabit the same region. Finished with the basilisks. Oh, for more tigers. Handful more. I believe I see one up on this hill. There we go. My final two. I need to get closer. coats my hands, my weapons, and my warrior garb. Yet still, I crave more. Elder Stranglethorn Tigers are the strongest of the bunch. More than one Worgen warrior has seen his own demise at the tip of those razor-sharp teeth and heavy claws. Ajek will be thrilled to know that you have bested them. The largest pack of these elders can be found to the south, near the Sundering, on the border of the Cape of Stranglethorn.
I do most of the cooking at the camp. Used to be a lot of work, till I bought a mechanical cooking pot from a goblin merchant. The pot is a wonder. It saved me countless hours, till it broke. Can you take the pot back to the goblin for me so he can fix it? His name is Krasik. Last I heard, he was staying with Nezingwary in the hunter's camp just to the south. Go with the water. will pay. Apparently my mechanical bird doesn't work in the water. I wonder. Hello! You brought me something? Oh, I see. It's a Krasik's Crock-Pot. An ingenious piece of work. But it can break a spring, a throw a gear now and then. Let me see what's wrong with this one. Aha! Its steam charger is rusted out. It has a cracked knuckle gasket and its fobulator is missing teeth. I'm surprised this pot could even boil a turnip in this state. Can I fix it? Of course I can fix it. But there's a price. Oh yes. There is always a price. <clears throat> if I'm gonna repair this pot, I'm gonna need reagents. And to get them, you're gonna have to do an eensy little bit of killing. I hope you don't mind. Those dastardly Venture Company geologists have been collecting some tumbled crystals that will suffice for what I need. You'll find them around their base camp, on the other side of Lake Nazfatiti, to the east. I don't care what you have to do to get them. You got my have you found it? I'd hate to return an almost finished book back to Hemet. You have certainly saved me a heap of trouble, Dogmeat. I can't thank you enough. It shouldn't be long now until we see Master Nezingwary's book in libraries throughout the world. I'll leave a copy of the book right here, if you ever want to take a peek at the finished product. Thanks again, Dogmeat. See you soon. Yeah, I'm good. supply you jerks ain't there Christ, of course uh, I don't need them Down here, go to I don't know why I'm beating up on this tiger, actually. I think I just saw blood. 
One thing taken care of. It's one way to get across a river. Now, where are all these crocodiles? Where are they hiding? It's actually better. I'll put those on. That's the same. That's worse. Back to the grind. I need to get closer.
do appear to be some in the deep water. It's too far away. I need to get closer. There we go. Back to town. Or back to the camp, anyways. a tiger and being chased by a tiger. How curious. <laughs> Suck my hindquarters, tiger. Not you, the one I'm riding, but the one that's chasing us. You know what I mean. Like Excelsior leather boots. Finest workmanship. 100% high quality saltwater crocolis skin boots. Non finer. Can't beat a glowing description like that, can you? Except maybe if you have those skins for me. My boots. They're like sausages, dog meat. Look great, taste great. I tell you, they're filled with nothing but the finest ingredients and in meats. And you eat it and you love it. It's safer and more enjoyable if you just trust me. And don't ask too carefully what's really inside. With the f inside finished, all that's left is to add the outer layer. For this, I use only the best Elder Croc skins. They are more durable and a better canvas, if you will, for adding the designs and accents that make Trislik's Excelsior line. It's harder to find that perfect skin, though. And only one that fits my plan... The only one that fits my plan is the skin of an Elder Snapjaw Crocolisk. Find them to the south, near the border with the cape. Have a good one. Time is money, friend. You have those crystals? These will work fine. Just a moment, please. Krasik thrusts the stones into the cooking pot and wiggles them around a bit. All fixed. We don't use one-handers, but once again, my shoulders are being upgraded. So, this pot is fixed. I even added an extra steam whistle. And look, there's a new chopper at the bottom that'll cut through leg bones. Yes, yes, Krasik's crockpot is 100% cook pleaser. 
I'm sure its owner will be very satisfied. Well, time to get back to the camp and see what uh, see what these human jerks have for me. Hello, dog meat. Did the goblin Krasik fix my pot? It's fixed. This is great. Now I can get dinner started. Thanks so much, dog meat. I hope Krasik didn't give you too much trouble. Light bless you. Alright, back to the compound. friends. And I guess that's it. Now I just need to escape. Well, let's go.
There's something not quite healthy about this elixir, Dogmeat. Even though I haven't completed my analysis, I can sense it. This will do. Please hold on for a moment while I test this out. After reducing the blast basilisk blood out of the elixir, I've uncovered an unusual precipitate. It appears to be a blue crystal of some sort. It's not a singing blue crystal, not a pulsing blue shard. He flips forward a few pages. Not a piece of the mind's eye. Nope, this isn't something we've seen before in Stranglethorn. If anyone has any more of this substance, I want it. Check the high-ranking Curzon troops in the back of their cave. Safe travel. What can I do for you? She looks bigger already. You can see these raptors grow quickly. You are lucky to have found such a strong companion. Keep her by your side as long as you can, dog meat. I'm sure she will prove to be an asset in the future. On a somewhat unrelated note, I've been putting together a collection of troll stories and legends for a personal project. I was just thinking you might be able to help me find some of them. The blood scalps at the Blal Ruins on the coast of the southwest maintain a large tablet documenting some of their stories. Of course, I'll reimburse you if you're able to bring me back any of these stories. See you around. What can I do for you? Thank you, Dogmeat. It looks like my suspicions were correct. The three prisoners seemed to have escaped the affliction that gripped Curzon and the rest of his men. Before you arrived, Emmerine teleported them over to Stormwind to get cleaned up after their or ordeal. They promised to return soon. Now that our allies have been evacuated, it's time to run a final raid on Curzon's compound. They will never be weaker uh, than, when, than they are right now. And with your help, we may be able to weaken them beyond repair. Those four names that were listed in the officer's dossier. On Anders, Galus, Miranda, and Esquivel will be the highest ranking personnel remaining. Look for them in that cave in the back of their compound. Removing all four will be devastating to Curzon's forces. Go with honor, dog. Be careful. <laughs> Alright. I guess I'm going to go with honor or something. Actually, right now I'm going to go kill tigers. How's that? seem no more of a challenge than their younger friends. But, a job's a job. And I like killing cats.
I have defeated the strongest tigers in Stranglethorn. I have become a great tiger hunter, and have every right to stop your hunt right here and now. Something tells me, however, that a stronger cat still awaits me within this jungle. Legends speak of an elusive tigress, a feline so powerful that she dwarfs even the elder males. The hunters at Nezingwari's ex expedition have hunted for her without success. Many of them have fallen prey to her raking claws, their bodies now decaying at the foot of her hill, north of Gromgal. They call the beast Sindal, who resolve to do what no worgen has done before. Hunt, kill, and claim the paw of Sindal. Who will win? Hmm. Certainly more of a challenge than her kin, but still nothing to me. Kill some more panthers. <laughs> These panthers don't seem to hide. I like that. I need to get closer. Panthers fall beneath my blades. Barely a challenge. Range. 
who's next? I need to get closer. I see my final prey. Take a moment to silently congratulate myself on my panther hunting so far. Now, the hard part. As panthers grow older, they become more wily, blending in with their environment and becoming difficult to spot. These cunning panthers are known by the name Shadow Maw, for their tendency to suddenly appear out of the darkness, with a waiting mold of full teeth. If I want to prove myself as a true panther hunter, Shadow Maws are the only way to do so. They prowl to the southeast, across the river. Meantime, though, there are raptors to kill. It's too far away. Dragothorn raptors were not a problem for a wily warrior like me. It's time to step up the challenge. Venturing into the jungle and bagging ten lashtail raptors should be sufficient. They will certainly be stronger than the raptors I have already disposed of. The lashtail raptors mainly stay southeast of here, near the Kalai ruins.
for now, though, we're going to call it a day. We're going to head back to the rebel camp and get a night's sleep, and then we'll come back next time to continue along with whatever fun money-making missions the fools around here give us. Head back to Stormwind. Easy enough to get back here. No, well, no. I'm supposed to meet Solomon here, so I should stay here. I don't know, though. Nothing here has been of any particular challenge, but something about this jungle just gives me a bad feeling. I have, I have a feeling something terrible is going to happen here. I don't quite know why. I can't explain it. I mean, it's the abundance of cats. See, they're always fucking coming out of nowhere and attacking me. Back to camp. Of course. Of course, another cat has to attack me. Alright. Does anything like an inn exist here? No. Isn't much of a camp you guys have, is it? sleep. Well, maybe I can hole up inside one of their little caravans. Anyways, hopefully Solomon will meet me here soon enough and we can continue our adventure next time. For now, I'm going to get some sleep. Until then, dog meat out. What's up, everybody? Great Pirate Solomon here. Thanks for watching the return of dog meat. Um, there's some changes in store for this series as well, as you uh, saw with Beef Swell. Uh, but they won't uh, really materialize until the next episode. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Anyways, if you like what I'm doing, go ahead and click on my pirate head on the right, subscribe for more. If you uh, want to see the last episode in this series, click the little video window on the left. And if you want to see what else I get up to on the interwebs, you can check out all my social media links down in the bottom right. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.